Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative, and today we're looking at the new addition to the High Line. So, Monaghan Train Hall is all the way there, that's MSG. I've been looking exactly to see where this place is, so why not just kind of walk around. This is not going to be an extremely long walkthrough, but it's some place that I've wanted to see for a while. I think it was completed maybe just like a week ago or two weeks ago. So let's take, let's take a look. Now supposedly this is supposed to connect Monaghan Train Hall, but this building here is different. Okay, let's see exactly what we have here before we walk through everything. A nice little seating area, nice quiet space here in New York City. We're not gonna walk all the way down there, but it looks like they have like a restaurant, some nice seating. And let's see exactly what you have here. This, if you want to take a screenshot, this is what you can actually kind of go and look through. But let's go to the High Line. This here closes at 10. No smoking, no bicycles, no pets, skateboarding, drinking alcohol. And is this wood? Wait. There may be some reinforcement inside here. Like you can see with the structure, like the metal structure, there's a lot of rivets. But this is primarily like, I don't know why the wood is giving me this kind of unfinished feeling. I do like, it's completely unintentional, nothing to do with this, but I kind of like the minimal like street art that's going on over here in contrast to a very, very clean looking wood. And I'm really wondering like the rest, here's the other side here. So the rest of the High Line as far as I remember, it doesn't really have any wood in it. So this becomes just like a very different vibe from the rest of it. It's very light and again, it's looking just like unfinished wood. We have the same type of benches over here. What's, now what's this? For a little bit, I thought there was going to be some information, some something here. Looks like people have been standing here, but I'm not really sure what this is yet. It's not really anything. It is a beautiful day here today. It's not very hot. There's a lot of people. It is 717, so everybody's just kind of like, it's a Saturday. There's a lot of people out right now. They're just enjoying it. This is a nice calm area. View here is beautiful, sky is beautiful. Like I said again, the weather is really, really nice. And let's just take some time to appreciate the structures around us, the greenery that we have. I really like this old uh, factory tower that they have here. Non-functional now, but it's just beautiful of, you know, what this was. Now this is one of these things that I've seen when biking up and down here, and it's pretty eye-catching from something like the rest of around here is very just like standard metal standard green i guess you could even say in the back standard oh wow wait wait this is pickleball the obsession for 2023 we'll see if this how long that actually lasts it's good to have like a nice smaller little set because again everybody's into pickleball but anyway back to this tree which extremely stands out i don't know if this is like a permanent art piece but this is just it's big it's huge and i'm really curious i think that this section here here going all the way there is just about the only new part i believe now i believe because i've walked here a few times that the sections over here like the section you can go down here or over wait i just want to see where's the rest of the high line Where's the High Line that I kind of remember? Just look at this. Please do not climb sculpture. That's, that just is extremely eye-catching. And it's very much different from the rest of what we see here. So we have good views. We have nice places just to sit down and relax. Even more places if you kind of just want to have like a snack, if you just kind of really just want to relax. Before we go over here, let's take a look over here. There's Whole Foods. Okay, so I think I know about where we are. I've gone to this Whole Foods. This is the Hudson, the shops at Hudson Yards. 
This is usually where I go to Uniqlo, but it's nice. It's a home area within Manhattan. All right, so let's take a look. We're gonna walk, we're gonna walk until I reach a place that I've been before. And this is just a nice, so this one here, Threshold, Katie and Donald Marin, just must be the people who, who, oh, who benefited this. All right, so here's some information. This is what I thought that we'd see more of, but like sweet gum, that's what this is, or at least what's supposed to be around. Wild ginger. And again, if you always want to pause, you can always take a look at this later on. But I'm just kind of relaxed in this. This is very calming. We may be around like these ultra modern structures, but it's very peaceful, especially in a day like today. I know I'm not supposed to be standing here. Let's get a better view. Sunset's gonna be coming here in maybe about an hour. And I kind of like this, so you can look directly down here if you either stand or sit here. And that's nice. All right, so let's keep on walking. As far as I can tell, the section that way is usually what I've been around. All of this is a section that I have not been around. These are nice. Nice giant benches. And I kind of like these like little, I guess you would call them alcoves. Just kind of quiet. You can sit there by yourself with friends. If you work around here, maybe just have lunch as well. There's another one of the uh, areas where you can go down to the street. Let's see here. This, it may be kind of a random thing, but one of my favorite sections of this, because it used to be a, like a railway line, is when you see kind of the greenery poking through what were, you know, useful and functional railroad tracks. It's like kind of like a controlled decay of this, and I think it's really beautiful. Again, again, especially with the lights here. All right, so I have been on this this section here. That's the vessel, that's the uh, shops at Hudson Yards. I've walked down here, that's the section that I kind of remember. So this is pretty much what's new to me. Maybe I've literally just never turned left when I've been down here. But so far, so good. Let's just see exactly what we have here. This seems to be an art piece. I really don't know what exactly about. But again, you can pause, you can take a look at this. Man, just look at the structure here. This is always just like an odd building in itself, but the way that it kind of goes all the way down here with almost like a set of wheels on it, like it's a giant suitcase, is kind of beautiful. And I think this is supposed to kind of like remind you of kind of the railroad backing that this has. Beautiful little section here with, I guess not suitcase wheels, but really just like old uh, train wheels. This is beautiful here. Kind of like you're just walking the tracks. I'm from Virginia. My dad grew up in Pennsylvania. Uh, he's always been in, um, in engineering. So just really being around this kind of like brings me back to like what I remember. It's just kind of beautiful being here. And now we have a nice section all the way down here. And I guess it's really nice. Like you can still keep this. There's no sense that you're gonna trip over anything here. But it's, yeah, again, it's, it's just nice being here. Wow. It's getting bright. I'm looking directly at the sun, or at least I'm trying not to. But yeah, this is a section that I've been around. There's the, uh, the train park over here where all the trains are just kind of like 
un I guess, unused trains right now. We can get a better view of this here. It's beautiful. And then we have just people enjoying themselves. Good music, good times. It's nice. So yeah, this has been, I guess, a walkthrough of the new section of the High Line, which again, is not really that big, but this has kind of just given me the time. And this is what I used to do as a kid too, just walking literally on the rails. Oh, this is just nice. But yeah, again, this has just been an opportunity to uh, take the time to kind of just like be around the High Line again. I usually don't go to the High Line unless maybe like there's somebody visiting and I'm thinking, okay, I gotta show them to uh, just like a nice place, like something more than just a park because it's kind of, it's a walkable, a walkable park. And it's just nice. Yeah, but here we are at the end of July. Yeah, as, as again, as far as I can tell, the new section really isn't that much. It's a very different DNA than the rest of this, and I really don't know why they did that. I don't get the wood structure. It's completely different, because we have this style here for the rest of the High Line. Like, this is something I remember from just its inception, but the rest of it, it's just, it's different. I don't get it. But I guess they have the reasons. Maybe that means the next section of the High Line, whatever they choose to make, maybe it would be more cost effective and maybe they just want this kind of lighter look. But I honestly think that choosing a wood finish or unfinish as they have, it's gonna, I think it's gonna age not in such a good way because when these were first here, um, they look new, but as they're aging, I don't know, they feel kind of right. Maybe they, maybe it will age appropriately. I am not the designer of this, so, um, I'm sure these are things that they have definitely thought about. Yeah, I definitely. But guys, what's another place that you want me to take a look at? We're gonna take a look at the tree on our way out here. I'm in Manhattan, I'm in Brooklyn. I love just being able to walk around this and share. Now, usually this would be on the main channel, but this one we're gonna put on M8B9 just because it's a walkthrough. It's not really a review, so I don't want to kind of clutter the channel with something that just doesn't doesn't work for the core audience. I'm finding that that is helping a little bit here. So we take a look at the tree one more time. Excuse me guys. Again, the floor here has this kind of like, I don't know if this is real rust or just faux rust, but it's already looking like this. Yeah, this kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. In my mind, if they used wood, I would really go for maybe, um, I, I guess a color that would really match the flooring that we see here but maybe then it wouldn't have the same kind of contrast. I don't know. Again, this just opened up, so we'll see what happens in the next few years. All right, guys, if you have any comments or questions, put everything in the comment section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram and threads at M8B9. You can email me at creativenyc2023 at gmail.com. I'm probably gonna take time just to, excuse me guys. I'm probably just gonna take time just to maybe do some grocery shopping now and enjoy.
All right, guys. Have a good rest of your night, and I will see you next time.